Hey guys, welcome to the ranch. Today I'm going to be starting seeds indoors under some grow lights and try to get a jump on the on the garden this year. I'm going to be growing these in my shop out here and it's usually around 50 degrees in the winter time. So I'm going to put these heat mats underneath the, the trays <clears throat> to keep the temperature 70, 75. I hear the peppers like it a little hotter. So I've got two trays here. I've got all my seeds laid out. So what I'm going to be starting with is some banana peppers, some bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, and then I've got three or four different varieties of tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. I'm sorry, these are these are peppers. Sweet banana peppers. So here I've got some mortgage lifter tomatoes. And I researched the name. The reason they call these mortgage lifter is the guy who invented these paid off his mortgage by selling these tomatoes. Little story. And I've got these cherry red tomatoes. And I've got some beef steaks. And I've got these red snappers. These are the only one that are bush tomatoes or determinate. The other ones are indeterminate. So, uh, and then I'm also going to try to start these birdhouse gourds. I want to um, I want to grow some gourds in order to create some purple martin birdhouses. And these things take 125 days to mature. And then I believe after that you have to dry them for another year. So I'm going to try to grow some of these this year and then maybe in two years I'll be able to create some birdhouses out of those. Alright, so that's where we're at. I'm going to go get the soil and the grow lights and everything set up and I'm going to start my seeds. I've got some Haas premium seed starting mix. Here's everything it includes. Now I have not sterilized this. I'm going to assume that it's pretty sterile anyway, but um, what I am going to do, I've got some really hot water, just faucet hot. I don't know, it's probably 150 degrees or whatever comes out of the faucet. I'm going to moisten this starting mix and I'm going to fill all of my trays here with a good pack of starting mix before I plant the seeds. Now one thing I've done is cut out a single cell from my tray and this is going to be used to water from the bottom. So after the seeds germinate and I need to put some new water in, the, the soil is going to be moist to start with so that should last two or three days. I don't know, I'll check on it every day and you'll check the color of the soil and make sure it's drying out. Before it gets completely dry you're going to water from the bottom for about a week and that's why I cut out a hole so I can just pour water into the tray. Okay, so right now I'm going to get the soil mixed up with some water and start planting seeds. So let's do it. Okay, it's pretty moist. Um, really spongy material here. It's a lot more water still at the bottom, so let me stir it up. All right, I don't want to pack this in there so tight that the roots can't form, but I'm going to pack it slightly, thumb pressure, and then just cover it the light layer here. So here we've got the Lola banana peppers. All right, these are going to be colored bell peppers.
leave me a comment below. You gardeners out there, let me know if these seeds are going to be viable uh, next year. You know, one pack of seeds for the small garden I'm doing is enough for many years. <laughs> but I don't know if they're going to last in my... I, I keep them in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator. And, you know, I don't know if they're going to last that long or how long to expect them to last. So let me know in the comments. Okay, this is going to be my hot peppers. I'm just going to do six hot pepper plants, jalapenos. I might put two in each. All right, next we're going to be doing bush tomatoes. So these are determinant red snappers and Oh look, it comes with its own uh, card. That's nice. So I'm gonna plant about 30 of these. Oh, so I need to put, there's six, 12. So there's 24 and 30. Yeah, that's perfect. So 30, so all of these plus these, okay. And I've only got, oh, I might not even have, yeah, there's only 10. Is that what it says, 10? Ooh, okay. These seeds are, so I won't be doing 30. Well, I thought I was going to get um, 30 of those red snappers. I didn't count the seeds. Um, I... Should have done that, okay. Red cherry large. Let's do these cherry tomatoes in this, and I've got these six right here. I've got one red snapper in that corner, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these. I'm gonna try five of these big guys here. These gourd seeds. Now these are big seeds, so probably need to plant those real deep. All right, I switched the trays up here. So I'm gonna be putting the red cherry large in this. Boy, these are tiny little seeds. I'm gonna have to put two in there. I know you gardeners out there are cringing at this, but hey, this is my first time, you know. Give me some feedback, give me some encouragement, give me something in the comments, and uh, I'm just hoping that I can grow a little bit of food. I'm gonna put six more of these gourds down here because I can plant them somewhere other than the grow boxes, I think. It looks like I'm going to have a lot of beefsteak and mortgage lifters. Um, I need 50 total and I've got 12 so far of the red cherries. So 38, I'm going to put how many, I guess I got to, this says 50 seeds. Uh, this don't have a count. So all, if I can get all 50 of these, these are so easy so easy get it s-o-w but <laughs> so easy apparently has this coating on them and it uh you know it must be fertilizer or something i don't know so hopefully that'll i'm sure it'll take them longer to germinate but maybe it'll help them survive so this is the beef steak so easy so I'm going to have two, at least two rows of these. Let me get these going. So one, you know, now I'm looking at it, it might be a little too deep. I don't know. What do I know? I'm a rookie. I'm going to keep 
planting just to see. I mean, those are pretty deep. <laughs> I, I pushed that pencil down in there. Um, I thought maybe a quarter of an inch, but now it looks like more like a half inch. So I'm gonna, some of these I'm going to try to put up towards the top. Red snappers are gone. Mortgage lifters are gone. Beef steaks are gone. So um, let's put in some more sweet banana peppers. And put in six more of those. All right, now we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these into the uh, grow lights and get them started. The heating pads are warm, I feel it. I ended up putting this light below because these lights have a fan and I didn't want this light to be underneath this heating pad. So I lowered it one shelf so the fan lights could uh, I didn't want the lights on the, or I didn't want the lights to overheat, so I put it down one one layer. Here's my setup. I got LED light, seed tray, LED light, seed tray. Now my lights. <clears throat> this is a probably around a 50 to 60 degree shop most of the winter, so the so the heating pads are going to keep these supposedly keep these trays at around 70 75 degrees i forget it's some a cup it's like 10 15 degrees above ambient or something like that and um, uh, hopefully that'll that'll work to germinate these i'm sure it'll work but just gives a little more a little more heat so my my grow lights are connected to a Wi-Fi controller, which we use a lot of these different plugs around the house to turn on and off lights and stuff like that. <clears throat> it's a Casa. I use it for my Christmas lights as well. And Casa is the app, and I'll put a link here, maybe even a screen capture of this thing. So I'm trying to add yeah they discovered so i opened up the app i'll go ahead and show you it discovered two new devices and i believe that is the yeah see christmas lights and outdoor plug so that plug that i plugged the grow lights into i used to use for my christmas lights and it has two plugs on it so each plug can be controlled individually so i'm going to go ahead and add those and now you can, where is it? Christmas lights, outdoor plug. Okay, check this out. That, there's one, <laughs> and there's the other. So <clears throat> I'll have to rename that. It's not Christmas lights anymore. Um, so let's go ahead and rename it. This is. Uh, grow light one and grow light two. How's that sound? Grow light one. Boom. And the outdoor plug, we'll call that grow light two. Boom. Okay. So now <clears throat> what you can do with these timer, well, this is a little more sophisticated than a timer so you can control it by your phone but the more important thing here you can schedule it so uh, you can have it come on every week every other day I mean you can see the calendar here you can set it to come on every day at whatever time and then turn off or you can even have it set to come on with or with the sunrise 
So right now I'm gonna leave them on. Well, actually you don't need them on. From what I understand, no seed is gonna germinate within the first day. There may be some exceptions, but most seeds take a day or two days to germinate. Once they germinate, they're gonna break the surface or try to break the surface of the soil. And the key for us today is to ensure they have bright light on them when they break the soil. If not, they become leggy and, and thin and weak and they're gonna be searching for that light source. So you wanna ensure that there's bright light when they break the soil. So my thought process on this project here is I'm gonna leave these lights off today because I just planted them 24 hours later. Uh, tomorrow night, maybe maybe 36 hours later, I'm gonna turn these lights on and leave them on full time until I get all these seeds breaking the soil. That way I am ensured that when they germinate and pop through the dirt, they can have bright light. And that's my thought process anyway. Uh, may or may not be correct. And um, I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's what I'm gonna try. So I may even try to Tomorrow night, I might come in here and set up a GoPro with an extended life battery on it and try to get this whole thing under um, on, on camera <laughs> to, to all these little seedlings popping through the soil. That would, I know nature's um, network or discovery network, or I would like to uh, be able to film that, but I don't know if I can do it. And it's pretty advanced for my skill level but here we go I've got my seeds started two racks and uh, I'll keep you posted on how it goes so thanks for watching on my next video I'm gonna be installing irrigation systems on the grow boxes I've also got some containers that I'm gonna be planting blackberries and I'm gonna be doing some potatoes uh, in the earth not in the in the grow boxes I'm gonna plant potatoes in the ground so be sure to subscribe um, hit the bell so you'll get notified and I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying that for the first time so you can come and watch and laugh at me as I attempt to grow some potatoes and blackberries all right guys thanks for watching just close your eyes and let them rest i know it's hard to fall asleep but do your best because there's a place that i go to when i want all the shades of blue Cause at times I think of leaving My mind takes me back to fall When the snow begins to sing At night to warm I'm counting years as they go by Now all the lilies are gone and aces brought to life Cause at times I think I'll leave